All right, here comes Sam Geyer, 20 years old, making his debut here tonight at 175 pounds, representing Unified Martial Arts. As Geyer heading to the cage tonight, a young fighter that's going to be going up against Dante Skiro. So right there is Geyer. We take a look at the Carbon World Health tail of the tape as Skiro, one of those fighters that always seems to have a big height advantage. That is not the case here tonight as Geyer comes in just an inch shorter than Skiro as we took a look at Geyer. Now let's take a look at one of my favorite fighters, the up-and-comer, Dante Skiro. All right, here comes Dante Skiro, all six foot one of him. He is aptly a lean, mean fighting machine. As you see, Skiro heads to the ring. Always love watching him fight and watching his career develop and play out for us here out of the chosen few gym. He is going to get a good round of applause when he is introduced up in the cage tonight by Chris and he comes in looking a little bit leaner than we have seen in the past but a little bit more leg work may be done by Skiro as his body is transforming here tonight his third amateur fight he'll be taking on Geyer making his debut that's our final look at the tail of the tape let's get the call from Chris in the cage to love about how he fights as I love watching him fight it was also kind of cool the last time we were here back in January he and Alex Polisi they're the Paisan fighters you know the Italian guys and I took some pictures with them afterwards nice guys but definitely turn it on and get combative in the ring as we take a look at Skiro the last time we saw him fight he definitely knows how to use that six foot one frame to his advantage and create some space between himself and the other fighter. Yeah, look good last time. Got that KO victory, TKO victory. It was his first one in the cage. Extremely emotional for everyone here in the arena because he brought such a big fan base. Good right kick right there to the thighs. Actually dropped Geyer to the ground. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Dante so far in his young career. If he puts it together, I mean, he's got a great body for this sport. He actually reminds me a lot of the way Gerald actually came up because you're a long, leaner fighter. Uh, started out in the welterweight division. You're fighting middleweight now, correct? That is correct. So, I mean, yeah, if he puts it together, look at those hard rights. Yeah, I like the way he's coming out right now. Before, he was doing a really good job keeping his distance. Now he's landing some good hammer fist defending this takedown. He's got to stuff that head a little bit. Or now he can bring him up to that over-under hook position. Now he's going back stuffing the head. And fights off the takedown, uses the wizard to throw him and get on top, and now with some ground and pound. 
Big right hands from Dante Skiro Geyer covering up. He is in a bit of trouble here right now as he has taken all kinds of punishment from the right hand of Dante Skiro. Geyer comes from a good gym, Unified Martial Arts out of Oshkosh. They actually even trained some of the Green Bay Packers and will go to that school to work out a little bit. Um, haven't had the best of luck tonight so far, but Biddle and company, that's a coach over there at Unified, good set of coaches, so I'm sure they got Sam ready for the kind of the onslaught they were looking at here with Dante. Yeah, and one thing that we know about Dante Spiro, he can strike and dish out that punishment. Long shots, you talk about being long and lean, but he lands hard shots, especially with that right hand, as you see. A couple more shots coming down from that right again and again, landing good damage from the right hand of Dante Skiro. And when you hear that loud thud, that means that Sam's head is actually laying against the floor of the cage and those shots are landing and literally smashing his head against the cage. You gotta Geyer. keep your head in a swivel. He's in a lot of trouble yeah. here, Rich. Trying to hold on, but that right hand keeps landing by Skiro. Now a good kick and a combination. He follows it up with a right hand and Geyer holding on for dear life here in the first round as Dante Skiro has been smothering him, raining down right. And now in this front headlock position, here he needs to decide if he wants to go for that choke. And now he's got to separate, break those hands, get back to striking where he's winning the fight. Looks like it might go to the end of the round. Good knee from Skirrell right there. Drops him, goes yeah. in for the kill. Might be a little, not a little too late, but man, that, dominant first round. Wow, that knee was devastating. Saved and by the bell, Rich. Saved yeah. by the bell. Tremendous first round from Dante Skiro. We'll see if Sam Geyer can rebound in round number two. You're watching The Chosen Few, and you're watching 57 Sports. Boy, it's hard to tell what did the most damage in round number one from Skiro. Was it the right fist, the right foot, or the right knee? All of them have impacted Sam Geyer so far. It looks he's just dominating everywhere, staying on top, defending the wrestling, landing his shots on top, and really landing those thudding punches, doing big damage right there near the end of round one. Wow, I think it would be surprising if Geyer can last this second round after taking the damage that he took from Dante Skiro. As Skiro looks ready to pounce here in the second round, Geyer, yeah, he's gonna need that mouthpiece here in round number two. And we'll see, sometimes these fights though can turn on a dime, but so far it's been all Dante Skiro here tonight. Now we start out right away, Dante coming forward, taking a couple of glancing blows, but now he lands that body kick again. Right back in, landing his shots. Clinching against the fence, probably working to get him down again and land some more of that ground and pound. And just as I say, gets yep. the double underhooks, takes him down. Good call from the machine as Geyer on his back. Skiro looking to free up an arm here and do some damage once again to Geyer. And Geyer trying to hold on right now as he has been in trouble since the opening bell of this one. This is one of our last five fights as we have three title fights still to be decided here tonight in Chosen Few 11. On oh, a slick little exchange there, Geyer was going for a Kimura from bottom. Uh, Dante realized that he spun around for his own arm bar and then ditched his attempt when Geyer recognized and defended, he came on top. Now Geyer looking for that single leg and Dante still able to stuff and come up to the back. Probably gonna try and run him down here, land some more ground and pound, get him on his hands and knees, and there he goes. Guy again looking for that Kimura from bottom, just trying to do anything he can to stop the onslaught from Dante. He's yes. doing a good job with that Kimura, although Skiro's defense right there, being able to step over is gonna help him out a lot. Yeah, it seems like Geyer right now in a better position at least to not be a, uh, a victim of all those blows of Dante Skiro right now. And here it comes again. He looked yep. like he was gonna go for that arm bar and now he's gonna take a shot at his own Kimura. Just the raw power puts oh, it behind him. Oh, and there him. it is. Yep, he turned it over as Geyer is out. It was all Dante Skiro here tonight and what an impressive performance from the six foot one Dante Skiro. We'll come back with the official call from Chris Garrity right after this on The Chosen Few on 57 Sports.
All right, for those of us not familiar or if you're watching and don't know what a Kimura is, so is that a good example of it right there, Gerald? Yep, that was a Kimura from the top position. Uh, the Galler on bottom was trying to get his own Kimura, so Dante used his advantage. Yep, pulled it out. Yep, he got the Kimura as a shoulder lock, put his arm behind his back, turned it, rotating the shoulder blade the wrong way and getting the tap. Well, we saw a little bit of everything from Dante Skiro. We saw him be able to strike, kick, the knees, the submission. He did about just everything right in this bout tonight. Yeah, he showed he is a complete mixed martial arts, like you said, strikes from the hands, the kicks, you know, through a knee that dropped him, had the better wrestling, the better groundwork, and even finished with submission when Gallagher was trying to get his own. Just a really good display of skill from Dante tonight. Yeah, so much fun to see Dante Skiro's career develop here in the chosen few over the last few times from when we saw him make his debut to his first victory back in January. And now this impressive performance here tonight in chosen few fighting championships number 11. So he gets the submission in the second round as we take a look at the replay once again. That was the first knockdown that actually happened with the right foot and here more damage. Wow, that yeah. right hand from Big Dante right hand. Skiro. Yeah, impressive. And here you see him defend that double leg. He got the wizard toss and came on top. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes in one minute, 43 seconds of round number two for your winner by Kimura Dante Skiro. Skiro improves to two and one, wins by the Kimura from top position in round number two. What an impressive job by Dante here tonight. All right, our first title fight of the night is coming up next here on 57 Sports.